Hey, sweeties. Come shopping with me at Lidl. Let's go. <laughs> Suspiciously low priced. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I just got finished shopping at Lidl. Um, and I was filming my shopping trip when an employee told me that I should stop filming. She asked me if I was an auditor. And I said no. She said only auditors were allowed to film inside the store and that uh, Lidl is a private company and they have sued people for filming inside the store. So I want to know is Lidl, are you going to sue me if I post my uh, shopping video? Well, I'm not going to post it. I'll check first. I'm not going to post it right now. Um, I'll show you my haul when I get home. So no walkthrough of Lidl today, Lidl, Lidl today. <laughs> See you at home. The so one thing to know about Lidl is that you have to either bring your own bags or buy them at the store. So I forgot about that <laughs> and had to buy uh, paper bags. I think they were 10 cents a piece. Oh, okay. I'm home. Let me take my glasses off so the reflection doesn't blind you. I'm back from Lidl. I got my receipt. Let's unpack these groceries and uh, talk about what just happened. I'm going to clean these. Oops. Clean these groceries, wipe them down. Do y'all y'all still cleaning your groceries? I know a lot of folks were. I still am. Um, and I still wear a mask indoors, so in the stores. So I was asked to stop filming. She didn't really directly say, uh, stop filming, but she said that only auditors are allowed to film. Actually, I'm just going to take this out. Only auditors are allowed to film. And if I was an auditor, if I was not an auditor, I could not film inside the store. So I shut my camera off. I shut this, I stopped filming because look, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to keep filming, so I stopped filming. But to me, the funny thing, the whole reason that I went to Lidl was because I saw somebody's Instagram uh, reel, I think it was, either Instagram reel or a story, Instagram story, that they posted. I'm not going to say who because I don't want them to get sued. And when I saw them post their shopping trip to Lidl, they showed all these beautiful orchids. And I love orchids, and I keep them in my house like year round on the counter here you can see my orchid is done it lasted very many months which is one of the reasons i love orchids so i said it's time for me to get a new orchid i'm gonna go to lidl and do a little shopping and get some new orchids i hope the lidl near me has beautiful orchids like the one that i saw on instagram so that's why i went because i saw it posted on Instagram. Little did I know <laughs> that Lidl does not allow um, filming inside the store. But there was no sign. There was no sign that said you could not film. No sign posted on the, on the door when I walked in. And I, I filmed <laughs> when I was walking in, so I went back and looked. And there was no sign there. And I've got my um, got it back down there. My receipt. So I'll go over the prices. So these orchids were fourteen ninety nine a piece, which is a good price. Um, many times you'll see orchids like these at um, Home Depot, and Lowe's, and the last time I purchased orchids from one of the big box stores, it was uh, twenty uh, about twenty two dollars. And I also, sometimes when I go to the botanical gardens, I'll pick up an orchid and they're always beautiful and really full, but then they're like 30 something dollars. So it can get kind of expensive. So $14.99 is a, a great price. And that's why I went to Lidl. I picked up a side of salmon. It's a skin on salmon. You know, I love the salmon. <laughs> Close up. Eight forty nine a pound. That's a good price. 
You know, I've got that how to cook uh, salmon in the oven, a couple of recipes uh, here on the channel, and they always do phenomenally well. Um, so I want to do another uh, how to cook salmon, a salmon recipe. So picked up a side of salmon, frozen shrimp. This is a jumbo raw peeled with the tail on. And that's a good size, two pounds. And the shrimp was $19.99 for two pounds. So basically $10 a pound. So prasada, because I love the salamis. Oh, I dropped my receipt. That was $4.49. This I think is going to be tasty on a pizza. So, you know, we've got the new uh, Ninja Foodie <laughs> oven over there, air fryer oven, and I've been wanting to make a homemade pizza in it. So I thought the soprasada would be good for that. Boneless country style pork ribs. And I don't know if you watched my pork ribs 101 video, but boneless ribs are not ribs. They come from the shoulder. Um, or I should say uh, country style ribs are not true ribs. They don't come from the rib area. They come from the shoulder area. So they're delicious, but they are not ribs. Marinate it and then roast it in the air fryer. I'm looking forward to trying that. Oh, did I say the price? No, I didn't. The total price is $5.72. And... The it was three seventy nine a pound, so I got two of them. So that's just about eleven fifty. Italian sausage, mild Italian sausage. This is the Lidl brand, um, mild Italian sausage. And those were three ninety nine a piece. Cereal, gotta get those frosty flakes. And I'll have to compare this to a uh, regular store price. That this is $349. Chips. The price on the bag is $459, but the in-store in Lidl price was $3. This is almost empty. I didn't do a big haul. Um, just a few things. But I'm really curious. I'm going to um, ask Lidl on Twitter. And I'm going to look at their website. And I'm going to look for this policy. And I'm going to ask them about the policy. If it is, in fact, you know, filming inside Lidl is banned. Um, and I, I wonder if anybody has been sued by Lidl. For filming in the store. I mean, that's what the employee said. She said they have sued. Sweet potatoes. That is a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. And that costs $2.44. cents. So, I mean, look, it's talking a lot about inflation. If you want nutritious, delicious, Inexpensive food, sweet potatoes. You cannot go wrong with sweet potatoes. If you like organic, it's more expensive. That was about $5 and change uh, for a three-pound bag. More expensive, not terrible, but this, you know, or conventionally grown sweet potatoes, $2.44, great price for three pounds. Lemons and limes, I'm going to wash these off in the sink. But this is a bag doesn't have the weight on it. Lemon lime bag, three forty nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six lemons and six limes. A little acid, a little squeeze of lemon on your dishes brightens the whole thing up. And of course, you need lime for your guacamole. I should have got avocados. I have one here, but I should have got some more avocado. 
This is, um, the bananas were 87 cents. The bananas are 87 cents, 59 cents a pound. So 87 cents for the bananas. And the cabbage, this is a 3.43 pound cabbage, 79 cents a pound. So $2.71 for this cabbage. Again, nutritious and inexpensive. Cabbage goes a long way. It lasts a long time in your refrigerator. And this is at least two meals. So cabbage, I like to saute it with some onions and cabbage and some carrots. Delicious. Got some sharp cheddar, Lidl brand sharp cheddar. And that was $1.85 a piece. So these were $1.85 a piece, so $3.70. And they, these are eight ounce packages, so two eight ounce packages, $1.85 a piece. Now they have a one pound package, so the same weight as the two eight ounce package. It was a 16 ounce package, but it ended up being a little more expensive to buy the one pound package than it was to buy the two eight ounce packages. Um, so keep an eye on that. A lot of times you, if you get the larger size, it costs that the price per pound or per ounce goes down. But in this case, uh, the price per ounce was slightly higher. So I think this was 23 point something cents per ounce, whereas the one 16 ounce package was 24 cents an ounce. So it was a slight difference, but a slight difference in the wrong direction. And we don't want that. So in this case, it was less expensive to buy two eight ounce packages than it was to buy the one 16 ounce pack. Well, I can, I guess I understand why a store would not want you to film inside. Um, if they want to really control their image, um, you know, they just don't want everybody posting, oh, look at this uh, bad thing over here. Or look at that terrible thing over there. I, I get that, I suppose. But if your stuff is right, it really is a benefit to you to have um, folks film in your store. Again, the reason I went is because I saw somebody post these beautiful flowers, these beautiful orchids on Instagram. Is the whole reason that I went to Lidl. It actually is quite far. <laughs> Not that bad. About 25 minutes. About 25 minutes away. Whereas it takes maybe 8 or 10 minutes to get to two other closer grocery stores. So I went you know, further out of the way to go to Lidl because I'd been disappointed by the selection of orchids at um, the closer stores. So other, other brands, other, um, yeah, brands don't have, you know, their orchid selection has been lacking. So anywho, um, Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. All right. They said it's the real deal. Aged 24 months. And the Parmesan was $7.49. Uh, $7 and then I got this Neufchatel cheese. I wanted just plain cream cheese. Neufchatel cheese is usually lower fat, lower in fat than regular cream cheese. They didn't have any regular cream cheese in the block. They had some in the tub, like more spreadable, but that's not what I wanted. So this uh, Neufchatel cheese was $1.48. So not a bad price. And that's, that's it. Um, my whole Lidl haul, my beautiful orchids. I'm going to get this uh, shrimp in the freezer and all this stuff put away. Um, yeah, I'm still a little bit like, what? No filming in the store. You could get sued. Have you ever heard of a policy like that? They usually it's posted. I've seen some stores post on the entrance right at the door that filming is not allowed. Um, so if the employee had not said anything to me, if she didn't see me um, and I filmed and posted it, I wonder 
if Lidl would have sued me and, uh, or, you know, had a problem with it, because how else was I supposed to know? So that's a little, a little troublesome. But anyway, y'all, I hope you subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all, have a delicious day. Bye.